My wife has this Singer steam press that doesn't turn on anymore. I figured I'd make a video on how I go about repairing this. I haven't been able to find any details online about how to take these apart. We're going to have to get this top cover off. This locking mechanism gets in our way. You can pry this knob out with a flat screwdriver. Remove these two small screws on the front of the cover. There's also these large pivot plastic threaded inserts that hold the cover on in the back. The cover's still stuck. It's stuck on those lock pins that come in and out. You can just pry it off. Just put a flathead screwdriver in there and push out. Now we got this cover off. We don't have to unhook the electrical lines that go to the cover. Here's the locking mechanism. You can take this part out for now, but keep it for putting it back in later. There's two large nuts and bolts that hold the steam iron together. We're going to have to take those off, but first let's take off these hoses. This is where the water comes in for the steam. Okay, let's take these nuts off and this will release the top part of the steam iron. You can see the top part's free. We have to unhook the electrical cables yet. There's a ground wire that has a screw that goes into the frame. Take that one out. Here's a picture of the wiring. You can use this as a reference when you put things back together. I've unhooked all the wires. Now they're going to have to fit through that hole as I lift up on the lever and we can free the top clamshell assembly. Take this knob off that connects to the actual thermostat. The clamshell assembly is held together only with this one screw that I'm pointing at. You can take that small screw out and the top of the clamshell comes off. There's a heat shield being held on with four nuts, one on each corner. The two water hoses go through a couple grommets. You can just pull them out through the grommet. Okay, now we can see the mechanical adjustable thermostat. There's a second part to this heating unit. Under here is a thermal fuse that's hooked up electrically. 
If that fuse blows, the device will never turn on again. You'll have to replace it. I've replaced this once before. So let's check that the fuse is, if this fuse is bad, and if that's why this won't turn on again. I tested it with my meter, and the fuse is actually good. So it's probably the thermostat. This thermostat's really old, and you can see it's very corroded contacts. It has a ball of metal in there, even. It's probably not working correctly. I managed to find a thermostat that's pretty close on Amazon. It should work. You can see the contacts look nice and shiny and they work re re really well when I turn the knob. I'll put in the new thermostat. All right, let's put the heat shield back on. Make sure this hole is in the right spot so it goes over the thermostat. You can get the water hoses back in through the grommets just by pushing gently through there. All right, now we can put the clamshell top back on. There's these two inserts that go into these slots. You can just insert it, and it folds down. And you just put that single screw back in, and the clamshell assembly will be back together. Here I reversed all my deconstruction procedures. I bolted the clamshell back on, hooked up my power wires, and here I'm putting back in the uh, locking mechanism. Don't forget to put that piece back in. Put the cover back on. Now, once again, the cover is going to hang up on those lock pins, but you can pretty much just push it right over. Just push down firmly and it'll snap down over top of them. So I got it back together and time to see if it's going to work. All right, the power came on, the two lights are on. Let's see if we can uh, measure what temperature this is running at. around 350 degrees in most areas. Cotton requires around 400 degrees or so for ironing. So this should work fine. It's close enough. The power's turned off because the thermostat self-regulates. So everything looks like it's working again. Thought I'd include this bonus video showing how the thermostat works when it heats up.